Hi, Theo here from electroeffects.com. Now that you have your free demo account and you've downloaded your trading platform, which is the MetaTrader 4 software, you just need to grab some more free software from electroeffects.com. If you have a free membership already, then you don't need to worry about this first step. But if you don't, up top here, you'll see the join today link and just follow that and grab yourself a free membership. Once you have a free membership, you log in and you're taken straight to this page right here. At the top of the page, you'll find the free files that are required to continue on with me in this video. There's a zip file format and a self-installing executable file. Some antivirus software may detect that as a suspicious file because it is a .exe file. I can assure you it's safe though. Uh, I've already downloaded both of these, so I'm just going to speed along here and minimize that window. Here is the trading platform software we downloaded in the previous video. And here are the ElectroFX files in both zip format and self-installing EXE file. So first thing we need to do is install the MetaTrader software. And I'm just going to double click this. This is the window that will pop up. You need to agree to the terms. And I suggest going into the settings now just so it doesn't open this website for you. Uh, I don't need that opened up. If you are going to install more than one MetaTrader of this particular broker, then you need to make sure that you give this a unique name, just so you know which one it is. If you're only intending to install the one MetaTrader for this broker, then you don't need to worry about this step, and you'll perhaps understand it more in the future. Once I'm done there, I just click Next. The files are downloaded, and then the software is launched once I click Finish. Now I do have multiple monitors and it has opened up over here. This is the first window that you'll see. You can just click cancel on that one and then another window will pop up and this is where you're going to place your demo account credentials. So head on over to your email and look for that email from IC Markets. It's called MT4 Demo Account Registration and there you'll find your login and password. It's also going to tell you which demo server you're on. So just take note of that. There are a few choices. I'm grabbing my login and password. As you can see, there's a few demo servers. So I'm on demo 01. I'm just going to go ahead and click login and then I can bring that platform across. As you can see, it logs in, all the charts update. And on the bottom right, you'll always see the connection status. So you can just make sure that you're connected by looking at that. Now the first thing that I like to do when I set up a, a new MetaTrader is right click in this market watch window, anywhere in the window, and just hit show all. Uh, this just makes sure that we have a complete list of all of the instruments that this broker is providing. And then you can go ahead and close that. Also you can now close these four charts. We don't need those at the moment. And these are the main two windows that you need to that you'll be using basically. So we have the navigator window and this is called the terminal window. Both of them you can access up here on these little icons, the folder with the star on it. These are This is your navigator area and the icon beside it is the terminal window down below. This is where you can see your open trades and your account history and things like that. This is where you're going to be able to see your scripts, expert advisors and indicators. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Right now we don't have the custom software installed, but I'm first of all going to tidy up my MetaTrader by just putting all of these toolbars on one line up top there. I'm going to close the navigator now, not by using the icon, but by using Control N for navigator. And I'm going to close the terminal window by not by using the icon, but Control T. So you have those options. You can use these buttons here or the hotkeys of Control N and Control T. Uh, inside the Tools menu, you'll see the Options drop down. And if we go to Charts, we want to select Use Alt Key to Drag Trade Levels because we're going to be using some software to drag the levels anyway, so we don't need a conflict there. The next tab that's of interest to you is Expert Advisors. I would suggest just checking everything on the left and unchecking everything on the right. And the final tab that you'll be interested in is the email tab. And I've created a separate video showing you how to set up your SMTP server, the various options available. So you'll be coming back to this tab 
once you're on that video. For now, just click OK. And I want you to go to File, Open Data Folder. And that's going to open up a Windows Explorer. It's quite a unique address and it's going to be different for everyone. So it's very hard to get to, in fact. Uh, the, the easiest way possible is File, Open Data Folder. That way you're guaranteed that you're in the right place. This is where the files we've downloaded need to go. And I can now close my MetaTrader. This is mainly for when we're installing the zip file because when I launch this zip file, it's going to be different depending on which zip software you have. Windows has built-in zip software and I'm using WinRAR. But either way, once you double click the zip file, you're going to go into it and see these two folders. So if you just highlight them and hit Control C on your keyboard to copy them, and then I can just paste them directly into this area. Now we're overriding the folders that are named the same thing, which is perfectly fine. So I'm going to click yes. And now the files are actually all inside the MetaTrader. So if I launch the MetaTrader right now, all the files are in the right place. And that's all you need to do. If you did, however, want to use this self-installing exe file, then I'm just going to walk you through that. I won't need this window anymore because the self-installing file is actually going to find where that is, where your MetaTrader's files are for you. So you wouldn't need to go to File Open Data Folder if you were doing it this route. So I'm going to now double click my self-installer. And this is the first window that you're going to see. By clicking Next a few times, we're going to work our way through it. Just accept the agreement. And here you'll see a list of the MetaTraders I have installed on this machine. So as you remember in the setup, I put the dash one on this MetaTrader, so I know which one that is. And I'm only going to install the files to there, but I could install these files to multiple MetaTraders at once using this installer program. So if I go ahead, work my way along to the end, and once I get to the end, I can leave this checked, run MetaTrader after install. That's the dash one I can select from any of the MetaTraders that I installed these files to. Of course, I only installed it to the one MetaTrader. So I can now click Finish, and it will launch the MetaTrader. So we can pick up from where we were. There you go. Plain MetaTrader, just as we left it. Now, if I open up my Navigator by hitting Control n we can see the free files now, free expert advisors, free scripts, and free indicators. What we need to do before you move on to the next video is set up your hotkeys. Now it doesn't matter where you click in the navigator on, on which of these items, there's always a, an option here to set hotkey. So just right click anywhere and hit select hotkey. Then you'll get into this area right here where we can set up all the hotkeys at once. What we will need is a control B for an instant buy, a control S for an instant sell, a control R for reversing, a control A for adding the stop loss and take profit, and a control E for exiting all orders on that pair. Scroll up a little bit, find these expert advisors. We then want a control P for the pending order EA and a control M for managing the stop loss and take profit. Then you can hit close and we are good to go. So that's it. That is the initial setup of this MetaTrader software. We're going to move on now, play around with the tools and start actually trading.